A live look from Cape Canaveral tonight, just after 8 o'clock, SpaceX is scheduled to launch its first all civilian crew into orbit. This is really, really yes. awesome. So, those astronauts prepared for this historic flight right here in the triangle. CBS 17's Russ Bowen tells us why Duke was the best place to learn how to save their own life, lives in case something goes wrong. Much of what goes into staying alive during an emergency in space happens on Earth prior to orbit. That includes how to react if there is a drop in pressure that decreases oxygen levels, thereby decreasing judgment and performance, all while an astronaut may not know it's even happening. So the aim of the uh, training was to uh, expose them to these situations, high carbon dioxide and low oxygen, so they could feel it. Uh, we would get, we gave them some tests to do, and so that they could see that their performance was impaired. That training, Dr. Richard Moon is referring to, happened at the largest civilian hyperbaric chamber in the U.S., located at Duke, and also where SpaceX's first all-civilian crew learned what to do in a case like this. In the unlikely event, hopefully it won't happen that uh, either of those uh, situations were to occur in space, they would recognize it and then be able to introduce countermeasures. The four-person crew will spend three days in space and orbit the Earth every hour and a half. It was a delight to uh, work with the four astronauts from SpaceX. Uh, each one of them is accomplished in their own field. Uh, they were truly delightful to work with. Dr. Moon and his team have previously worked with NASA as well. This countdown will be as thrilling as any. We wish them the best, and I'll be watching uh, with my eyes glued to the TV when they launch this evening. Yeah, and a lot of people so cool. will too. You know, yeah, and one yeah. of the cool things he said too is, you know, with so much more uh, of, of the civilians who might be traveling in years to come, he really expects his own students to be doing the same thing he's doing right now in training them to get ready as well.